It is mind-boggling that Nigerians who would not employ third-class graduates in their companies are defending Tinubu. Articles 8 says, Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Shaibu, who made the allegation in a statement issued on Sunday, said that with the release of the President Chicago State University document and the scandal surrounding it, Tinubu's government had become frustrated and was plotting a massive offensive in the coming days as the investigation files from the FBI was expected. Frank Shaibu, special assistant on the public communication to the candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, PDP in the 2023 presidential election, Atiku Abubakar, has accused President Bola Sinabu's government of planning to gag the media as the United States FBI is said to release the details of the investigation that tied Bola Tanabu to heroin trafficking. Shaibu, who made delegation in a state when issued on Sunday, said that with the release of President Chicago State University document and the scandal surrounding it, Tanabu's government had become frustrated and was plotting a massive offensive in the coming days as investigation files from the FBI was expected. According to him, the threat of sanction issued to a rise in television by the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, is only a fragment of the move by Tenebu's government to gag the media. Shoaib accused the NBC of being partisan and biased in favor of the government. According to him, the NBC was silent when media platforms like the television continental TVC, which is owned by President Tenebu, constantly attacked Hatiku. He said, and I quote, Back in February, the NBC tried to show a bit of fairness and fine TVC for unprofessional broadcast, including the airing of a joint media directorate of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council press briefing, where Festus Kiyama said Obasanjo and Atiku ran a criminal enterprise and an empire of fraud in Abuja. However, since Sinubu became president in May 29th, the NBC has become more partisan than ever. The NBC pof, boss, rather, Balarabe Ilela, is obviously seeking to retain his appointment and is now dancing to the tune of the All Progressive Congress and their master at the presidential villa. The NBC has now been co opted into a grand plot to gag the media over a terrible certificate scandal. Having lost the battle in the court of public opinion, they are now trying to use the powers of a state to brobeat the media into silence. This is indeed shameful for a man who claimed to be a hero of a June 12 struggle. But this is not a time for the Nigerian media to show any weakness. The trove of document which the, that the, the trove of document that the FBI is set to release this month will expose details of the investigation that tied Bola Tenebu to heroin trafficking. The dissemination of this information must not be left to social media alone. The media must rise up to its role as the watchdog of the society as enshrined in the Section 22 of the 1999 Constitution. The former Vice President Aid further said that the hypocrisy of the Tenebu government and the All Progressive Congress led Senate was legendary, saying that a ministerial nominee from Delta State, Stella, Okoteti, a director at Nexon Bank, was denied ministerial confirmation over a larger certificate forgery, even though she made frantic efforts to defend herself. Shoibo asked why the standard for being Nigerian president was lower than that of a ministerial nominee, and Ms. Omeji Kime, who forged her, uni her unified tertiary matriculation examination result. He said, Okotete claimed to have graduated from Benson at Dahosa University in 2007 with a second class low grade in international studies and diplomacy and completed the compulsory National Youth Service Corps NYSC in Kibi State in 2009. However, amid the allegation of certificate forgery, the Senate refused to confirm her while the authorities continued to investigate her. However, in the case of Terumbu, who holds the highest office in the land, they want Nigerians to overlook it. They're asking Nigerians to focus on governance instead. Isn't it ironic that a bar has been lowered for the office of the president? Is it not mind-boggling that people who would not employ even thought like graduates in their private companies are the same ones now defending certificate forgery? The hypocrisy is indeed disturbing.
Now, this is actually what I am going to say. I agree with Fan uh, Frank Shaibo. You see, the executive, the power that the executive is weaving, the executive is becoming, not is becoming, has become too intoxicated with power. You are the president of a country does not mean you, anything you see is law. That is not what being a president is all about. In fact, I would say that people who have not served in smaller capacities has no business being in, you know, in the business of coming to lead people. And when I mean smaller capacities, I don't mean the local government chairman. The local government chairman is even the bigger one. I mean smaller capacities like little, little groups in schools, in churches, in one community, because that is where you truly serve. In religious communities, if you come out and you, what's it, what's it called, in, let's say in a religious setting, you are given a position, that position you serve. I don't know about you, but I've seen people who that position, they don't, they don't pay. In fact, that position, they spend their own money. And they are ready to serve. That it was being, being a true leader. It does not mean you are going to come outside and be giving all the whole comma. Hey, you do the mm -mm, at all. In fact, it, it is supposed to, like I said, it is, if you don't, if you have a problem with serving, they're not supposed to allow you near anything called governance. But oh yeah, but yeah, it is from the local government level or, or is it at the, what's it called? Now, Frank Shaibu, I find it mind-boggling. Mind-boggling, no. It's your English. He enter well. It's wrong on every level. It is wrong on every level. The one that even shocked me was when he said the ministerial nominee. Yeah, they are ready to make sure she does not go for that until they find out if her certificate is actually real or forged. But when it comes to the highest office in the land, who is supposed to be leading by example? Who, when you look at the president, you say, oh, look at what the president is doing. And it becomes worthy of emulation. But what is now happening? The reverse is the case. It can't be like, see, now the people, now they teach these people in government how to rule or how to... Oh, my. Nobody wants Nigeria to succeed. Shop when the turn when your talk comes, even the leaders are broad that broad that they change it. I'm telling you, this is the mentality of Nigeria. I listened, even in the midst of everything happening, I listened to some Nigerians and they're like they prefer somebody they prefer, I mean those particular set of people, I think one or two said they prefer person where they give them than person where they tell them the truth. Now they are no say ah, for this country, <laughs> we never start. We never start. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.